Dear audience, in this video, I will talk about build a hack assembler. In the last video, we have seen build a, com uh, a complete hack computer from a memory module and a hack CPU. The hack CPU executes uh, binary instructions. However, that hack instruction uh, is not quite human readable, so we would need an uh, um, assembler which transfers the more human readable assembly code to the um, machine executable binary instructions. My design of the, the assembler consists uh, four modules. The first one, of course, is, uh, is the assembler itself, which reads, uh, which reads a human readable assembler language in and do set uh, do uh, two passes. In the first pass, a module called assembly table keep tracks of uh, labels, such as this uh, uh, loop label, and uh, it. The sample table counts uh, its um, memory address inside the uh, read-only memory, OM. One, two, three, four. Then the label loop has shared the same address with uh, the uh, uh, instruction next to it. So uh, the, the address corresponding to the loop label is 5. In the sec uh, in the third module of our assembler, the parser, the parser reads each each individual instruction. For example, like this, at sum, it uh, analyzes it, it uh, split it uh, this uh, instruction into into two. Pass. First one is a A instruction label, the add symbol, and then uh, a variable name, sum. And then uh, the parser will look up the symbol table, try to um, find the corresponding memory address of the sum variable, and then transfer, uh, translate uh, this instruction into binary codes. And then put put it back to the assembler module, for uh, and then res uh, start from the beginning. With the with the next instruction until you reach the end of the uh, uh, source file. At this point, the assembler output a binary file, which would uh, look like this. So let's start uh, talking about. Uh, uh, the assembler. I have uh, divided uh, the assembler's work into three uh, passes. Uh, in some literature, it only requires uh, two passes. Uh, in my de design, there's a not, uh, in a, there's an additional pre-pass, which reads the assembly code from from the file which would li looks like this. And then remove comments. You know there's a, a comment uh, which start with a double slash and then uh, some, some human readable comments. We need to firstly re remove those, those stuff because uh, our assembler cannot understand the uh, human language. And then we need to uh, remove spaces. Uh, there are spaces um, in each line, which is a n nice to make it a need to re to be read uh, by human. However, it may interfere the assembler's uh, uh, further syntax and analyze. And then we save the clean uh, cleaned up uh, cleaned up code into a queue 
which is a first in, first off, out buffer. In the uh, pre pass, we also in, uh, initialize the sample table according to this uh, given uh, table, which we got a uh, stacks pointer uh, and uh, some other registers. We need to uh, initialize this uh, in case we encounter those samples in the uh, source assembly code. So clean the up uh, uh, code to be saved in the Q1 is uh, looks like this. All those comments spaces are removed. And this is the initial sample table which contains the default uh, labels mentioned uh, in the textbook. In the first pass, we continue to work on um, the code saved in Q1. In this uh, uh, queued instructions, we count the line number 1, 2, 3, 4, and uh, 5, and uh, we put uh, this label, put the label into uh, um, our sample table loop, it will be uh, appended uh, uh, there, corresponding and, and also the corresponding memory address. Please note that a label uh, cannot begin with a, a number. It could be any letter or special characters like a column, comma, period, a dollar sign, and so on. We add the label and it's a corresponding with only memory address into a, our sample, sample table. You can imagine it is a dictionary. You add a new terms. The first uh, term, label, is a uh, is a key which you can look up it and uh, find the corresponding memory address. You can also erase uh, uh, the whole line by specifying the key. After doing that, we put the clean. Uh, uh, once we put this uh, label into the sample table. We need to erase this line and uh, put the uh, uh, erase the put the instructions with labels uh, erased into Q2. Now we come to the uh, second pass, which translates the instruction from uh, uh, assembly code into binary executable instructions. What we have here is a pass tree. At the beginning, we read uh, the next uh, instruction. Let's imagine we are reading the first uh, instruction, a instruction and a lab uh, and a variable i. So uh, we check uh, is that instruction start with a uh, at sign? Yes, it is. Start with a uh, at sign. And uh, is that a purely number or contains letter? Uh, I is a letter, so it's not a purely number. We go this way. So is that a number plus letter? Uh, number first, a letter second. So in that case, it is a, it is an invalid uh, instruction. So it's not this case. It is a purely letter. So it goes this way. We will. Uh, check in the sample table. Uh, remember the sample table we build uh, build here. We will look up the sample table. Is this a uh, sample in the table? Uh, let's see. There's a there is not a 
term lowercase i so it's not in the sample table we go this way it is a it is a, an a instruction with a with variable so we add this new variable i into the sample table which is a corresponding address we translate this uh, instruction into binary form by uh, by this uh, format start with a zero to indicate it is a a instruction and followed by 15 bits value which is a uh, the corresponding address of the variable because i is not in the same table we assign a new address to the next available RAM position remember that uh, by initialization we have a 0 up to 15 occupied by those uh, pre-allocated uh, symbols so a new variable may start from the 16th memory address let's uh, have a look of the second instruction I'm assigned value to I so uh, read the next instruction is that uh, start with a uh, add or not so go this way and split uh, this uh, instruction into three uh, parts by using equals and uh, semicolon as uh, delimiters so there's only uh, a equal sign without a uh, uh, semicolon so the third part jump is empty we only have a uh, first uh, two parts destination and computation for destination M we go this table look up this table M which is a uh, 001 and then for the comp com computation instru uh, method we go this line M okay uh, sorry uh, this part should be one so we pick up uh, those two lines m and uh, 1 for the jump because it's empty so we pick up this now at the end we uh, combine those lookup table results and pre-append this uh, triple i to make it a c instruction what it uh, would look like is uh, one 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 and uh, this uh, this comp inst instruction bits because uh, it is this side so the a a bit which is am is uh, zero zero one 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 and uh, put it here for the destination the result into the memory so it's a zero zero one zero zero one here for the jump instruction there's no jump so the jump instruction will be zero 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 we save the final result in the next line in do I have a example here uh, no okay we will discuss uh, this in the implementation part for the implementation I select to use uh, C++ first because I know C++ and second C++ is uh, uh, object oriented so uh, it is easier to manage the data type and the uh, corresponding access mutator into a single entity which is a class in addition C++, C++ or CPP supports a STL standard template library such as map and a queue 
the map is uh, just that uh, dictionary. We have a, a term with a key and uh, its corresponding value. We can uh, look up that value by having the key. It is very easy to convert CPP standard uh, template library map into our sample table. And also in STL, there's a queue which allows us to uh, say easily manage the intermediate uh, uh, instruction uh, sequence. That's it, uh, this video. In the next video, we will uh, firstly discuss how to build our sample table class in C++.